Where are you going? Aaron, where are you going? Hey, hey, come here. You ever wanted guns like these? Yeah, well, you could get them at kingdoms.com slash merch. But you don't get the guns, you get the shirt and also other stuff. Check it out. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey everybody, welcome to Game no. Grumps. <laughs> hey. You have to put that first part in. Cause yeah, don't put that in because... Uh, that'd be a problem yep. for that one minute rule. <laughs> Do not worry guys, I would never put in the horrible and completely unacceptable thing you just said. Yeah, we were saying some crazy stuff. But that's fine. Sometimes we try to get like... The weirdness of it. Excuse me? We try to get the weirdness out of our system. So we just... That's where like the ba 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 butt fart, butt yeah. fart, that stuff came from. Um... But sometimes... It feels good to say really crazy stuff just before the episode starts, and uh, that includes f bombs. So that's not going to do well for us monetizingly in the first minute of a video. Monetizingly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wasn't didn't we just? Were we going to play a level that like you like fly around on a bird, or did we complete that level? Oh, where you were like this looks like Skyward Sword. Yeah. God, I can't remember. Did we do that level? Been too busy thinking about the F word. That's the problem with Mario Galaxy. This is the problem with the first Mario Galaxy I had. I, I played it a bunch, mm -hmm. and then I didn't finish it. And then I was like, oh, I should finish Mario Galaxy. I remember it being okay. And you're like, where the hell am I? And I turned it on, and I had finished it. Really? Yeah. And I don't remember finishing it. That is interesting. They do throw a lot of stuff constantly at you. Oh, hey there. Everyone is out doing their swimming drills right now. Okay, well, fuck you then. <laughs> Aaron, please. I don't give a shit. Language. Press hey. A to Oops. squanch! Oops. Oops. Um, am I doing this right? Oh, okay, got it. I thought, okay, got it. What's happening? I just didn't know what I was doing, but now I know what I'm doing. Okay, well. Dude, they didn't have to make a new fucking game for this. They just took Mario Galaxy 1 and made new levels. This is like the same damn game. Is it? There's like nothing different about it. Um... It feels and looks exactly the same, all the fucking assets are the same, they just made new levels. And like, good on them. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Mostly that's what people want, right? Sure. Give me the same thing, but different? Oh yeah. You know what's interesting? What's that? These aren't even like... The games that drive people nuts. What do you mean? Like, the best-selling Mario games are like classic Mario- like, new Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. where it's like a side-scroller. Those kill. Really? Mario Galaxy didn't really kill. I mean, huh. you know, it sold really well, of course, because it's Mario, but, Right. But, like, comparatively? People- people like the side-scrolling format? Oh, yeah, man. New Super Mario Brothers, like... I don't want to throw out an exact number, but, like... Definitely more than, like, two times the sales. Like a million billion? Like a- like... Don't even get me started. Like a squillion? I don't even know what a squillion is. Yeah, well, maybe you should have gone to a sclaf class. <laughs> should have gone to school sclaf class? <laughs> That's where you learned this, guy. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You gotta scrape. Because if you don't scratch anything, what are you gonna even do? What is the objective of this level? Excellent question. No idea. I just started doing it. And, oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, so clearly it wants me to be on this Tower of Terror. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is nothing like the Tower of Terror of Disney. Which is closed. Oh gosh, which it, Tower of Terror is where it just cranks you up and then drops you? Yeah, but now it's Guardians of the Galaxy Escape or whatever. Oh gosh. Yeah, bro. What's the, what's the difference? There's just like a raccoon at the top that's like, Hello! It's and better. then you drop. It's better. Really? Yeah, Tower of Terror was just kind of like... And now the hotel is haunted, and then you <laughs> fall. But Guardians of the Galaxy is like, we gotta get out of here, and then you fall, and then it's like, and then Star Wars, Star Lord's like, whoa, help me out, and then you go up, and then Drax is like, whoa, funny thing, and then you <laughs> drop again, and then Gamora's like, I'm here, and then you go up, and, and then Rocket Raccoon's like, bam, and then that's the end. Wow, that's pretty much what I was imagining. Yeah. Oh, I'm sick of swimming all the time. Is it ice skating season yet? Southern, Southern Penguin? Yeah, Southern Penguin. Yeah. You never met a, like, a down-home Mississippi Penguin? <laughs> oh shit, you got your wish. They're the best, yep. Yippee, it's frozen salad! 
Use uh and shake uh to start ice skating. <laughs> now everything's dead. They're all dead. Whoa. Look at me go. Well, I've always wondered if things can get so frigid where like a pond will freeze straight down. Oh yeah. And then all the fish are like, um, what now then? Yeah, this sucks. But then they unfreeze and they're like, whew. Yeah, if they could survive that, I mean, I would assume they'd die, but who knows. Their gills would get filled with ice shards that would stab their insides over and over like thousand needles. You have much faith in your wall jump technique, eh? Is this the X-Files theme? This is the X-Files theme, actually. Is that okay with you, uh, King Aaron? <laughs> yeah, well, I used to be terrified of it when I was a kid. Really? It's still kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. A anything that has that, like, slow trail off. Like, <laughs> you know you know what I was thinking about recently? Talking about childhood stuff? Yeah. And this is a little bit connected because we were, um... It has to deal with aquatic animals and ice. Do you remember Operation Breakthrough? You would have been very, very young. What is this, a movie? Um, I think they did make a movie out of it. It is... No, it was 1988, so you were probably too young to remember. Um, but... In 1988, these three giant whales, I think they were gray whales, a mom and dad and a baby, um, got caught up in the north of Alaska. Like, they... They swam into, like, a shallow water, and the water froze behind them, I think. I think that's how it happened. And, um, they got trapped there, and they were basically dying. Um, they were, like, there was only, like, one little patch that they could come up and breathe, but they couldn't swim away from it because they would drown otherwise. Um, and, uh, the U.S. and Russia and Great Britain and, you know, the U.S. and Russia had been in the Cold War for decades at that point, and it was finally, like, you know, starting to relax a little bit. And, uh, everyone worked together, and they sent scientists and, um, workers there who, like, cut through the ice, and they, they saved, uh, two of them. Oh. Um, and it was, it's just this really, I mean, I, I, I'm sure some people would call it, like, a huge waste of time and resources, but, like, I mean, as a eight-year-old kid, I was like, well, Mom, are they gonna save the whales? And so, like, it was a huge, huge news story at the time. Operation Breakthrough. Wow, no, I, I don't, I've never even heard of this. Yeah, it was, it was a wild time. So it, it all ended up okay? You saved two Well, not for, not for the whale that died. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I think, I think the Can't baby- save them all. I think the baby died, because it wasn't as big and strong, you know? Um... Well, that's but what happens when you're a fucking baby, right? <laughs> yeah, the mom and dad swim. Big Miracle. That was the name of it. That was the movie they made out of it. But I don't know if the movie's good. Big, big Miracle, huh? Yeah, I think Drew Barrymore's in it. I remember thinking, like, oh, that's about that's about that thing. But I don't know. I was I was too young to remember. This is the thing you were talking about. All I remember was Free Willy, which I've never seen. What? I've seen Free My Willy, the pornographic film, but- Does it have an orca whale in it? It doesn't. Pretty- pretty un- un-whale related, actually, when oh. I really think about it. So it's just tangent- it's just the name. Yeah. Name- name recognition. Basically, yeah. Th this reminds me a little bit of, um... Skyward Sword? No- well, certainly that. But I was gonna say that, um... That board on Mario Party, we were like, pew it. Like, we were going through kind of like a forest that's a little like this. I don't remember that. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since our Emperor Palpatine do it memes. Yeah. Oh, was that Mario Party? Yeah, that's where that came from. God, I don't remember. You know, it's like all the Game Grumps memes I can think of. I don't remember. The only one I remember the game that it was from was this sad Hoshi. Because it was from Journey, Journey to, to Silius. Yeah. Which was such a, like, what game? Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that was back in the days when, like, we truly, like, got weird. Like, we we still get weird, but I don't know, I don't know if we voluntarily play Journey to Silius now. Oh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to play it because I thought it was great. And also had that weird lore behind it that it was like a Terminator game. Yes, that's true. And th there's, like... 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the right weird isn't the right word because we play plenty of freaking weird games. Um, I don't know well, that's, the right that's word. when we mostly like took stuff off the shelves. Yeah, that that's kind of what I mean. Like mm. now we put a little more thought into it. Like before, it was truly the wild west of like, well, this might function. Well, it was also less. Yeah. I mean, not to get too inside baseball about it, but it was just like... It was just kind of like, we just put up videos and people would watch them and they'd, they'd, we'd, we'd make... We'd make what we make off of it, you know? Like, it wasn't like... But now it's like, you sort of have to be like, Okay, well, we should play something that people are definitely gonna watch. Yeah, al algorithm. Otherwise, people are gonna be out of a job. <laughs> yeah, al algorithm stuff. Uh, it, uh... It blows it for everybody, but... I mean, whatever. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, the only thing that matters to me is that I get to hang out with my boy. Oh, bro. Yeah. His name's Thomas, and he's a, my illegitimate child. Okay, I thought you were talking about me, but oh no. Thomas no. seems nice. I don't. I don't really know him. He's illegitimate. Okay. <laughs> he sounds related to you. I don't know. You know what? To be completely honest, I'm not sure what the term illegitimate means in this context. Okay. It's fine. Let's see. What is illegitimate? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's learn something. Yeah, I don't- yeah, I don't really- What is an illegitimate child? Exploring the cosmic cavern. Gotta get in the cosmic cavern. And is it just a child born out of wedlock? Legitimacy in traditional Western common law is the status of a child born to parents who are legally married to each other. I oh, see. Oh yeah, that's it. And of a child conceived before the parents obtained a legal divorce. Yes. Wow. That's messed up. I... whatever, like... That's such a traditional thing. Like, there are people that have kids and they're not married all the time. Oh yeah, no, I just... I just mean like, the sound of the word illegitimate. Oh, yeah. Referring it's, it's, to a child. It's a little harsh. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you're an illegitimate child. Yeah. You're not legitimate at all. No. You're an invalid child. Barely a human. You're an invalid. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. That's very, very weird. Yeah, it's kind of a cruel, cruel phrase. Look at you skating. Nobody really uses it anymore, do they? I don't know. It's just, this is my child. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. Yeah. I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, is that your illegitimate child? Is this one right here? The one that's in front of you? Is that an illegitimate child? I think it's safe to say the sanctity of marriage has been a little bit tainted. <laughs> sanctity? By a... 50% plus divorce rate. What's sanctimonious about marriage? It was... how... Owners of land secured more land. Oof, that's man. The, that's the sanctum... sanctimoniousness of marriage. Yeah, it's a... Good question. Oh. I mean, that's why marriage was invented, wasn't it? I don't know. It was like, we will join our houses. As I mean, one it... super house. It was like, it was like the... It was like the uh, temple of the dog of land ownership. <laughs> wow. Yes. Bring your Pearl Jam daughter and <laughs> marry her to my Soundgarden son. And we will create, like, one or two hits. <laughs> but definitely Hunger Strike. That... That song rules. Oh, I mean, it's awesome. I don't mind stealing bread from Mouth of Decadence. <gasps> That's the Mouth of Decadence he was talking about. The society that created marriage. <laughs> wow. Wow, that guy's terrifying. <laughs> He's hungry. Oh my god. Do you, you know, do, did I ever tell you that's one of my biggest regrets? What? Susie and I got tickets to a Temple of the Dog concert the last time I were on tour. Really? It was like, t like, you know, two or three years ago or something? Wow! I didn't even know they toured. And we, you know, we, we had tickets for a long time, and then that night we just... We just both weren't feeling it. Wow. We were just like, man... Like, I'm fucking tired, like, I had a long week. I yeah. wanted a loud fucking concert, like... Yeah. And and we were both we, we, neither of us were like we're like oh but come on we were like yeah man fuck that yeah, yeah, yeah. so we just didn't go and then and then Chris Cornell Chris died. Cornell man yeah and, and I was like I can't fucking believe I didn't go yeah that's that's a huge bummer um I never saw him with Soundgarden Shit. I saw him dang at Jellyfish oh 
Oh, fucked you up. <laughs> How do you only have five? You, you had like 20. I think every time that you restart the game. Oh, you, you that's so cruel. You default out. Yipes. Um, oh, that's why I was having such a hard time. You're just supposed to hit jump to swim. Hmm. Uh, uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. It's like the rainbow road of swimming. I can't breathe in water. Oh, thank God, space. <laughs> <laughs> That'll help me breathe. I Yeah, I never saw Chris Cornell um, with Soundgarden, but I saw him perform twice as a solo artist. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was great. I, I like his a lot of his solo stuff. Yep, and he played with a band called Eleven, which were one of my favorite bands in the 90s. Um... Hugely underrated. Um... Actually... Y I bet you know their song, Reach Out. Reach Out by Eleven. Reach out and touch face. That's not the one, that's Depeche Mode. That's Personal Jesus. That's how it goes, right? That's- yeah, that's- that's how Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode goes. I don't know that- I don't know Personal Jesus. All I know is... Do -do 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 -do. Reach out and touch faith. <laughs> Do you know what the next lines to that are, Aaron? Uh... Do -do 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 Your own... Reach out and touch face... Personal... Jesus... <laughs> so there you go. What about my own personal Jesus? I don't know. It, it just... that's... that would have been a good opportunity. I'm not a huge Depeche Mode fan. Oh, really? Yeah. I- well, so, some of their stuff is great. Walking in my shoes is amazing. Um... Oh, what was that song? Golly gosh. They, they, they had one song that got covered by somebody else. Was it they're... Marilyn Manson? No. Dang. Wish I could remember it. Was it that song, Reach Out? It's like, Reach out and touch me. That's Personal Jesus, Aaron. Du -du 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 -du. Oh my god. But if they say Reach Out in the song, how is it not... How is it... How is every song not called the first thing they say in the song? Yeah, I mean, just think of No Rain by Blind Melon. Then the song would be called All I Can Say. Yeah. <laughs> it's... No, but they, they say it. They, they, he's like... There's no rain! So that's why it's called that. Because he says it. And in the Depeche Mode song, he says, Reach out and touch me. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> just trying to, trying to drive you to fucking madness. My, my, my brain is falling apart. <laughs> um... Oh, what the hey? How am I supposed to get there if it's not even here? Is what anyone would say in this situation. <laughs> Wait, can I rotate the world? That would be strange and uncouth. Can, can you do it? Can, can I do you what? do it? I gotta get up there. Mm. I gotta get up where? I gotta get up there. Enjoy the silence. That's another beautiful Depeche Mode song. Oh, uh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah. I don't. You don't? No. Probably if I heard it. I listened to- I had a- I had a Depeche Mode, like, moment in my yeah. life. It's like, uh... All I ever wanted... Oh, yes. All I ever needed is here... In my arms... Yeah. Constipated... Parts... <laughs> You're right. It's, uh... <laughs> Words are very unnecessary. They can only do harm. Yeah. Yeah. But you, the, your farts thing was close, though. <laughs> so I don't want to... I don't want to call you out or anything. How the hell am I supposed to get up there, dude? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, don't you have to bounce off stuff? Uh, but... It, but it's a closed rock. I can't. How do I, like, get rid of these objects that I hold betwixt my- my hands? I- I do not know. Cause there's a- there's a- there's a fucking thing up there, and I can't get to it! Try killing stuff. Oh, word? Whoops. Okay, well I got hit by him, so that's good. Yeah. I don't need it anymore. Jeez. Oh, fudge. You guys made a solid... plated... 
gold plating. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I don't know. Oh, I killed there him. There it is. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, when in doubt, just kill stuff. I guess that's true. Man, what a dumbass I was. It's okay. Ooh. Whoa. It's an aqua planet. It's made of agua. Fire. Can we play the agua? <laughs> Star! Nice! I've done it! After all that Depeche Mode talk, I did it. Yes! People are people is another great Depeche Mode song. Oh yeah, people are people, and everyone knows this. What and the fuck? I fu went to Aaron. school yesterday. That is not how it goes. Yeah, it is. Uh, people are people. No, it's people are people, and so are the people. Everybody knows what I did yesterday. <laughs> okay, it's uh, <laughs> people are people, so why should it be? You and I should get along so awfully. Let's hear your version one more time. Uh, people are people every day. I went to the <laughs> store and I bought some hay. <laughs> Why were they selling hay at the store? It wasn't a grocery store, it was oh. a horse store. A horse. <laughs> Just because I said the store doesn't mean it's a grocery store. You're right, I'm It was a red barn. Yeah, yeah, that was my fault. People are people and here we go. I've got a show in order to... No, you're my, bro. you're my bro. That's how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> you're my bro. Everybody, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> you, you, are you're people. hot. You're hot step and dash pepper, bro. Yeah, man. Well, I gotta, I gotta build up some stars so that I can open up the next world. Okay. Is that a dash pepper? It is. It surely is. Okay. <laughs> Presumably. You bet your sweet nuts it is. Your sweet bippies. Well. As they say on the strits. Don't. Nobody says that on the strits. And second of all, stay. You stay the hell away from my bippies. I'm never gonna stay the hell away from your bippies, dude. We made a pact. We did not. We made no bippy pact. Dude, when we first started this, it was like for better or worse, till death do us part. Those sweet bippies. Till death do us part. I assure you, when you asked me to join Game Grumps, there was no till death do us part vows. Mm, I remember some death do us part vows. Um, oh my god. You were like, I will never stop making rude Game Crumbs episodes. Yeah, I will never stop shaking my bippies. That's what you said. Is that what I said, Aaron? Yeah. Years before that meme. <laughs> before we even made that meme on Game Crumbs. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I think I just had that one in my back pocket for 40 years. Yeah, man. Just waiting. Always waiting, judging, watching, waiting, Always judging. Always judging, watching, waiting. Oh, snap! I think I- oh, snap! I think, I think she's on fire. I think that's what I did wrong. Okay. I think I just did something wrong. Really? I think I gotta restart the level. No, why? Yeah, because I did something wrong. What'd you do? I told you. Return to map. I had to get that other and then r run up the side, I think. I think. Aw, oh, shit. What if that wasn't true? Yeah, what? I think it probably would've. I'm pretty sure you gotta run up the side, because it, sh it shows it. Here, I'll show you. Okay. When it shows the little cutscene, and it's like, here's what you do, this is the objective. Watch. If you're wrong it, about this. And if it's wrong, I will take the- I will take it- so there's that one, the start one, and then they show... that one. Okay. So I'm thinking you have to get that one in order to get to the top of here, and that's where the star is. I think that's the end of the level. I don't know, man. Cause that's- Cause I did what I just did before, to get the second star. Right. Which is what I don't want. Listen, it'll all make sense <laughs> Dude, in, in the I- future. like, the more you explained it, the less sense it made. <laughs> so I just gotta run. Uh-huh. Grab all the star bits now, I'm gonna eat the star bits, and then <laughs> I'm gonna eat the pepper and- You bet your sweet bippies. <laughs> so this one. Uh-huh. So I gotta- I gotta- Grab the meat, and then- Take the heat, and then tip. Because uh, it's it's hard. Like that oh. that that particular one is difficult. That like run. Here Whoops. we go. It's a five alarm fire in Yoshi's pants. Oh. I think you gotta go, go up the other really way. Hard. And then when you reach the apex, crossover. No, you can't though, because it. Ah, shit. I gotta restart. There we go. Okay. Check it, because you got it, and then you can ah! 
You can do it though. Okay. I know you can do you it. Say so. Just that Yoshi's one crazy cookie. <laughs> He's like, yeah, feed me another one. He's a crazy cookie. He's me shoot smoke out of my ass, but maybe another one. Fuck. Whoops. <laughs> Yay! Hey, you uh, saved yourself. It. Yeah. I am super skilled at Mario Galaxy. I'm going to play this game right. Uh, 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 Damn it! I don't know if you can do it, dude. I, but why would they put it there if you couldn't do it? To keep you from doing it? <sighs> I feel like this is the answer. Ah! Okay, maybe I gotta make a wide turn. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Instead of instead of hugging like the left. Like people that unnecessarily swing out to swing into a parking space. Yes. That's the okay. uh, yeah. I, I don't do that. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. It's warm in here. <laughs> uh, man, are you uncomfortable <laughs> and nervous about the things that you just said? <laughs> Dude, what if you? Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. See, and then you can get all the way to the top. Hey, oh, there's one man. Just a just a penguin. Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop. Oh, I was oh. so nervous. Racking. Nerve racking. <laughs> nervous rack. Your skill has brought you very far. Quite a view. From here, it's clear how important every coin truly is. That's it? Well, oh, I thought that was the objective. Nope. It was just a nice little <sighs> lookout. Such a fucking oh, dope. Me, me barf. <laughs> yeah, I got a little like, uh, uh oh. Uh. Alright, fine. Okay, look, it said board you reset on last time. But what's the star that I did get? How would I- why would I get the second star? Oh, okay. I'm running anyway, I don't give a shit. If I can just talk about depression mode a little bit more. <laughs> depression mode? Yeah, depression, depression mode. Are you, guys, are you guys playing depression mode? Yeah. Whenever I think of depression mode, the first thing I do in my head is hear the cure. And then oh, I have to yeah. remind myself that Depeche Mode is not the cure. No. In fact, they're a different band. Totally different band. But it happens every time. Well, they occupy the same kind of time frame and aesthetic. They're both sad goth bands of the late 80s. That's what happened. I, I went to that special star. Hmm. Pink star. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oof, all right. Do -do -do -do. All right. What do you do with these? You go whoa, and then you go whoa, uh -huh. oh. and then you go whoa, and then you go whoa. Wow. I don't like playing as Yoshi, man. Really? Yeah. Even now? Even? What do you mean even now? Even now that he's like Captain Indestructo and getting you places quickly, and you'd be lost without him. Well, I don't know. It just, it just feels strange. Mm. Feels very limp. Oh fuck! Feels some, very limited. Some kind of weenus. Is that what you are? <laughs> no. You're a weenus. The skin on my elbow is a weenus. Uh, uh, what are you talking about, you say dude? so. Ah! Yes! Bravo. Very proud of you. Ow! Wow, that was weird. What? I thought... I thought there was a dog in here actually making that noise. Because I'm used to Camilla, my dog, like, oh. coming in and when she yawns, she does like a little... Oh, you've got the- you've got the pet PTSD now! What do you mean? Like, th that I hear them everywhere? Yes! Well, I mean, it's not stressful. It kind- of, it kind of is. Really? A little bit. I got excited! I was like, oh, sweet, Camilla's here! Oh. Oh, maybe I just am fucking cold-hearted and dead inside. And it wasn't really tr traumatic, it was, she was just yawning. Well, it's like whenever I- cause my- my cat, right? Mm -hmm. He- uh, the first one, I don't want to say his name cause then he'll come in here. Right. Um... He, uh... So what happens is, mm. if I'm like focusing on something, like a computer or a game or something, he'll he'll like run laps. He'll like come out of the room and then go back, come back in the room and then meow at me until you notice him. Yeah, and then I'll pet him, and then he'll walk away, and then five minutes later he'll do it again. He'll do it over and over again. Wow! And, it's, and like it's so stressful at times. <laughs> um, Nothing will ever beat uh, your stories of the way he'll meow at you early in the morning, just so you could follow him downstairs and pat his ass while he eats. Oh, he's still- I, every morning. That oh, is- shit, keep forgetting. That is a spoiled cat, and I love it. I- I think he's- I, it's like I think- he's got like rituals, man, like... I- I- I think he's got like a little kitty OCD or something. It's certainly possible. That's um, the stuff. But he, uh... 
But it's just, it's, so like I'll be at a hotel or something and I'll be on my computer like playing a video game and then I'll just like, in my mind I'll be like, oh, f here he comes. <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh god. It's on. I mean, it's like, I love my cat, but... It's like I'm focusing on something else. I understand. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like I'll pet you when I'm done. It's not like I'm doing it for like 30 hours straight. If I can get up and get food and I pet you and I give you a little treat. And... I think the only thing I have that's even remotely like that is that my fear is her running away. You know? Because she just doesn't... Like... She loves it at home, but she's she's a wild... She's got a wild heart, that one. Like, some dogs won't won't run, but she'll run just because she thinks it's a big game, you know? She doesn't realize the danger that L.A. provides. Right. Um... But, so that, uh... I don't know, I guess whenever I'm at someone's house and I open the door, I'm always a little I was like, like, close the door, close the door! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get that too. Or like, I open it slowly, just in case something's about to poke its head out and try to slip out. I don't know, it, it just... I don't wanna... Oh, You're like the little bee guy from The oh, Simpsons! Oh, yeah, I guess so. My favorite is when he eats too much food and he's lying there all fat and he's like, Oh, El stomacho. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a bee, you can land on the clouds. Heck yeah. I guess when you're human, Mario, you can too. Oh, it's the flowers. And when you're a bee, every sabado is gigante! It's one of my favorite Spanish language shows. Hey, hell, el sa gigante? Sabado gigante. Oh. Gigantic Saturday. I think that's what it means. What is it about? It's, it's, uh... You know, they all kind of blend together. But I, I believe it's one of those ones where, like, you'll see, like, grown-up adults, um... Sitting in a fake classroom set, and they're all dressed like teenagers, like, Ay, Dios mio! And, like, the hat's a quarter turned to the left, you know, that <laughs> kind of stuff. I and mean, not that I should talk, it, you can find 20 NSP videos that are just like that, without the Spanish. I mean, is it, but it's, it's genuine, yeah? Like, it's not, they're not doing a bit, they're not like, oh, oh they're definitely doing a bit. Well, I mean, like, they're not like, oh, look at us, we're, like a, like an SNL bit, you know, it's like, clearly they're all in their 40s. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, like, I don't know, I don't know Sabado Gigante well enough to know how serious they take things. But, but is it? I is do it like I comedy do enjoy, or? Yeah, yeah oh, it's okay. comedy. I enjoy watching their programs because they all seem to be into it and having a good time. It is fun. Unlike to watch. you, Fritz, you big dick bag. Ah. Oh, oh! I fucked up. Don't even fuck. So you don't have to punish me. I already don't punished myself yourself, enough. Don't even just, just. I'm gonna punish myself even more by saying next time on Game Bros. Oh! Yeah. Now I have to wait to do another episode, and I don't wanna! <laughs> I don't wanna wait! I want it to happen now! Humph! <laughs> Humph! But it's something to look forward to. It is. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. We will see you tomorrow. We love you. Cause that's what we're doing right now. Yeah! More episodes for our people. We call it Grumps a Day. Cause, yeah, you, we know you guys are a little bit stuck at home, and... We, we are too, mostly, but... Aaron and I have been teening, as the as the kids say. That's quarantining. Oh, I see. Yeah. And um and we're all good in the hood, as the kids say. Huh. So that's nice. It is nice. It's not nice. I'm going a little a little wild. <laughs> I'm getting a little feral. Yep. I'm it's fine. Probably gonna eat some things I shouldn't. I'm probably gonna poop on some things I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably gonna call people that I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then you won't hear from me for a couple weeks. And then I'll come back and I'll be like, I made this. And it'll be some work of art that just sucks. Next time on Game Grubs. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everybody. Bye. In the grand scheme of things, we are gods. Gods of entertainment.